Welcome to the official Trail Racks two-door Ford Bronco Tremor Rack installation. Let's jump right into it. The hardware that you'll receive will include 28 quarter 20 by three quarter inch hex drive bolts, four quarter 20 by one inch hex drive bolts, 14 quarter 20 by half inch bolts, 46 quarter inch black oxide stainless steel washers, 14 T-slot nuts, four quarter 20 nylon nuts, and four quarter inch stainless steel washers, and four M6 by one millimeter nuts. You'll also receive two inner clamps, two outer clamps, two roof rack side panels, one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side, one wind deflector with or without the light bar cut out, two windshield mounting brackets, one for the passenger side and one for the driver's side, both indicated with the arrows, as well as seven aluminum extrusions. If you chose the Bronco Pack Racks add-on, you'll receive the three bags, the eight set, the washer bag, and the universal bag. The eight bag will have eight quarter 20 by three quarter inch black oxide hex drive bolts, eight quarter inch black oxide washers, and eight quarter inch nylon nuts. The washer bag will have eight quarter inch stainless steel washers, and the universal bag will have 16 quarter 20 by 5 8 inch stainless steel hex head bolts, and 16 quarter inch stainless steel washers. You'll also receive two pairs of arms, four in total, two mounting plates. You'll also receive two 41 inch long and a half inch wide foam strips for the lower mounting brackets, and two lower mounting brackets, both labeled with their designated sides, driver and passenger. As far as placement for the foam strips on the outer and inner clamps, they will be placed on the inner lip with the arrow. So you'll remove the adhesive covering, slide it into that lip, pressing firmly in place, and then you'll do the same for the inner clamp with the arrow. Remove the adhesive covering, press into place, and you're ready to go. The outer clamp will use the four inch long foam strips and the inner clamp will use the two and a half inch long foam strips. To attach the weather stripping to the wind deflector, you'll take your weather stripping, press it firmly into the gap. You should feel positive feedback of the weather stripping sliding into place. For those who receive the Bronco Pack Racks add-on, you'll attach the half inch wide foam strip along this groove right here. For the logo plates, you'll receive three logo plates in total with six 540 half inch hex drive bolts and six 540 nylon nuts. As far as the locations go for the logo plates, you'll put one on the wind deflector and one on each side rail. The tools required to install the logo plates will include an adjustable wrench as well as a two millimeter Allen key. To attach the logo plates, you'll place the logo plate on the inside of the rack, slide through two M40 by half inch hex drive bolts, and then tighten it down with two M40 nylon nuts on the opposite side. The tools required for this install will include a ratchet, a 532nd inch Allen key or socket, a 10 millimeter wrench and socket, and a 7 16th inch wrench and socket. We recommend these to be ratcheting wrenches. This will make the install much easier. We will also provide blue Loctite for this install. To mount the bottom bracket for the Bronco Pack Racks, first remove the hard top from the Bronco and then find the four fender bolts on each side. Remove all four bolts using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. Clean the area around where you'll be mounting the lower mounting bracket. You will use the factory bolts as well as adding a quarter inch stainless steel washer to each bolt to mount the lower mounting bracket. Tighten all the bolts down to snug, but do not over tighten. Once this is complete, go ahead and put the hard top back onto the Bronco.
To assemble the tremor rack, we're gonna first mount on the windshield mounting brackets to the front aluminum extrusion. To do that, you will use the four carriage bolts and four nylon nuts provided in your kit. First, you're gonna slide on two carriage bolts for each windshield mounting bracket. Next, you're gonna take your windshield mounting bracket and slide it into the holes. Then, you'll take your nylon nuts and hand thread them onto the carriage bolts. You're gonna leave these loose at this time. When mounting the windshield mounting brackets to the aluminum extrusion, make sure that these arrows are facing away from each other. This will ensure the correct fitment of the tremor rack to your Bronco. Once this is completed, add this extrusion to the front position of the rack. We recommend assembling the rack upside down for clear view of the bolt holes. You will use two three quarter inch hex drive bolts and two black oxide washers with a tiny bit of Loctite to mount each aluminum extrusion. Only hand tighten these bolts and leave them loose. This will make install much easier. You'll only need to install three aluminum extrusions at this time. Attach the frontmost extrusion with the front mounting brackets, one in the middle and one at the very end. With the help of an extra set of hands, place the partially assembled rack onto the Bronco. Make sure to remove the factory roof rack mounting pieces before. You'll then slide the windshield mounting brackets into the threaded studs. Once the rack is in place, we need to center the rack as well as the windshield mounting brackets. To do this, measure two inches from the outside face of the windshield mounting bracket to the inside face of the roof rack side rail on both sides. Tighten the windshield mounting brackets into place. Once that is complete, you can go ahead and remove the partially assembled rack from the Bronco. To attach the wind deflector, you will use half inch black oxide hex drive bolts, quarter inch black oxide washers, and T-slot nuts. Thread on one of each of these to each slot of the wind deflector. There will be 10 in total. Leave these all loose so that you can slide it into the front extrusion. Remove the front aluminum extrusion from the partially assembled rack, then slide on the wind deflector to that extrusion. Once that is complete, reattach that aluminum extrusion back to the front position of the rack, now with the windshield mounting bracket and the wind deflector. With the wind deflector now on the front aluminum extrusion, go ahead and place that partially assembled rack onto the Bronco. Next, tighten down the windshield mounting brackets using the, either the factory hardware or the four M6 by one millimeter nuts and four quarter inch stainless steel washers that we provide onto the threaded studs. Then, tighten down the wind deflector bolts using a 532nd inch Allen key or socket. With all that tightened down, it's now time to attach the rear inner and outer clamps. Making sure that the arrows are pointed in the correct direction is crucial for the correct fitment of the roof rack to the Bronco. To attach the inner and outer clamps to the roof rack side rails, you will use two one inch black oxide hex drive bolts, two quarter inch black oxide washers, as well as two quarter 20 nylon nuts. The order of assembly is as shown, the two one inch black oxide hex drive bolts, then the two quarter inch black oxide washers, the outer clamp, then the roof rack side rail, then the inner clamp, and lastly the two quarter 20 nylon nuts threaded on. Once threaded on, you use a 532nd inch Allen key or socket and a 7 16th inch wrench to tighten down the clamps. Do this to both sides. Next, go ahead and add the remaining aluminum extrusions to the rack and tighten them down using a 532nd inch Allen key or socket. Tighten them down to snug, but do not over tighten. Them. 
To assemble the Bronco Pack Racks add-on, start by hand tightening two quarter 20 by 5 8 inch stainless steel hex head bolts and two quarter inch stainless steel washers to each arm through the innermost bolt holes of the mounting plate. Then tighten down the bolts using a 7 16 inch socket or wrench. Make sure not to over tighten them. With the Bronco Pack Racks now assembled, let's move on to mounting it to the Bronco. To mount the Bronco Pack Racks add-on, start by hand tightening two 3 quarter inch black oxide hex drive bolts, two quarter inch black oxide washers, and two quarter 20 nylon nuts through the top of both Bronco Pack Racks arms. Only hand tighten these at this time. Then hand thread on two quarter 20 by 5 8 inch hex head bolts with two quarter inch stainless steel washers to the bottom of the arms. Once that is complete, go ahead and use a 5 32nd inch Allen key and a 7 16 inch wrench to tighten down the top bolts and then use a 7 16 inch wrench to tighten down the bottom bolts. And there you have it. Your tremor rack is now installed on your two-door Ford Bronco. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below, or you can email us at infoatrailracks.com. If you'd like to pick up one of your own, we'll leave a link to one in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad at Trail Racks, and I'll see you all in the next one.